Carl Malone brought his Utah Jazz in beautiful city of Portland, Oregon to face the Portland Trailblazers. The Rose Garden was packed to see this matchup between the teams with the two best records in the NA. The Trailblazers' success has been quite a surprise season, but it was a consistent Jazz and their leader, Carl Malone, who got out to the quick start. The mailman was delivering as usual. Carl Malone underneath there, Stockton for another layup, score. Portland's top player is their 5 feet 10 point guard, Munstodier. He has the to score in different ways. His low range shooting kept the close, and his looking quick nick can beat them at the end of the quarter. And on the tag, it's just a wall, and it's got him squeaking ahead, sweet play to Damon. It's a great play at the, at the buzzer, and the Blazers tie it at 27 all. Malone also wanted to show his skills. Picked off by the mailman. Look at the mailman go all the way for the layup. He'll score it easily. Wallace's scoring gave Portland the lead, but this game was far from over. The Jazz stormed ahead to take the lead as the two teams battled back and forth. Carbone and 18 for good. The mailman delivers. A six point lead for the Jazz. Ryder gets three of them back right there. 86 83. Out of Carbone on the low block. Underneath the stock, and all alone, he scores. Williams over the right corner to Wattis. Drives on Bailey, spinning to the left, bank it up. Oh, wildly off the glass, they fight for it. Wattis has got it, ducks it in, and he's fouled by Bailey. Rasheed, tough turnaround. Hey, he's got a break down, get it. It's 90 to 88. Hornacek knocked down, Ryder knocked down. Grant's got it, he came out of there with it. Here's the give up by Rasheed. Ryder, Ryder with a backhand lay in. And the Blazers have tied it at 90. In the NBA, there are no draws, so if teams remain tied at the end of the fourth quarter, they play an extra period called overtime. Stoudemire will work it down. The Blazers are going to do, as Steve said, work for that one final shot. Back to Rasheed, into the corner. Walt Williams, not this time. One second remaining, and we have overtime. We have overtime. Overtime is grueling. After 48 minutes, these teams have to keep playing. It lasts only five minutes, so every point is important. Two minutes to play in the first two. Oh, boy. Hornish. And it's now 94-90. Wallace wants the shot. Wallace Yoyo. Fakey. Twist across the middle. Put it up and score it. Foul Bailey. Basket count. Late in overtime, Utah had a chance to take a four-point lead. In and out. The seeds got it. A wide open look that time by Hornacek. And the sixth rebound by Rasheed Wallace. Now they switch up. They get uh, Farrell Bailey off the of Rasheed Wallace. Stoudemire looking for a hoop. And it's tied with 19.7 seconds to play in the overtime. There has to be a winner. So if neither team can break the tie, we're going to a second overtime. Ryder's got a hustle. 1.3. We're going to double OT. A double overtime. The fans in Portland sure got their money's worth. In the second overtime, Isaiah Ryder caught fire. He scored five points and showed a lot of heart. Portland took a three-point lead. 99, 96. There's Malone, back to Greg Foster. Portland was looking to add to their one-point lead. In and out, tipped by Arvidas. Somebody's got to get it. Ryder fights for it. Foster's got it, and he gets the horn set. And some of slows him down. Russell was wide open, bringing it to the rim. And they give him two. As he chickies in over Walt Williams to make it 100 to 99. And now we're down to battle 20 high sucks. Gotta be smart here. Damon gets it back. There's Rasheed. Fouled. Fouled with 17 seconds to play. Down a point, Wallace went to the foul line to shoot two pressure-filled foul shots. Remember, each one of these shots counts for one point. 90-90 at the end of regulation, 94-94 at the end of the first overtime. They see Wallace eyes the game at 100 to 100. And we see Wallace has been beautiful to watch tonight again. And Dad jump ball the time out, so we're going to go right now. 101-100. Stockton. Stockton hunts inside Foster. He took an extra step. And a block. And a travel on Foster. You're only allowed to take two steps. 
Greg Foster took more, which is a travelling violation, so Utah lost possession of the ball. With only 3.2 seconds left, Utah fouled Damon Stoudemire to stop the clock. With 2.1 seconds remaining, Damon will go to the line for a pair. The fans were excited because they were smelling victory. Stoudemire stepped to the foul line and hit one of the two three throws to give the Trailblazers a two-point lead. All they needed was one last defensive stand. But what you want to do is make a jump for them just to get a shot away, and they do. And the Blazers will win. The Blazers will win as they defended the inbound beautifully, and they hang on with an outstanding performance in this game tonight. Absolutely beautiful. And you'd think the Trailblazers have just won a world championship as they celebrate.